Welcome, it's Deronda with Foods 101. Today, I'm showing you how to make these stuffed bell peppers. Absolutely fantastic for these chilly days ahead. The ingredients you're gonna need is one pound of ground turkey meat, or if you'd like to substitute by using pork or beef or chicken, you be my guest. One eight by eight ounce package of ready rice. If you wanna make your own rice, it's gonna be just a little over one cup. Four bell peppers, I've got medium sized bell peppers here. I'm using the red and the yellow, but if you wanna substitute for orange or green or use multicolors, you be my guest. One half cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, one 14 by five ounce can of diced tomatoes. You don't wanna drain your tomatoes. One cup of chopped onions, one half teaspoon of dried thyme, one fourth teaspoon of black pepper, one fourth teaspoon of salt, and one fourth teaspoon of dried rosemary. Three large garlic cloves that I've chopped, and one half cup of your Italian style breadcrumbs. Let me show you how simple and easy this is to get together. In a 12 inch skillet over medium high heat, we're gonna add that two teaspoons of olive oil. And yes, I forgot to tell you about this when I was going over the ingredients. Along with your pound of ground turkey, or again, like I said, if you wanna substitute this for chicken or pork, you be my guest, and your chopped onions. We're going to cook this until the onions are translucent and our meat is no longer pink. This should take about five minutes. Just keep working and stirring. About halfway through cooking up the turkey and crumbling it down, add your pepper, the rosemary, the thyme, and salt. Continue cooking your turkey meat and crumbling down your ground turkey as you go. During the last minute of crumbling and cooking down your turkey meat, add your chopped garlic. Continue sauteing for an additional one minute. Stirring as you go. Does that smell fantastic? Mm. Next, we're gonna add our breadcrumbs, the whole half cup with your 14.5 ounce can of diced tomatoes and our one cup of rice for that 8.8 .8 ounce package of the ready rice. We're gonna work this together until they're well combined. Just keep stirring as you go. Now that we've got all of our ingredients well combined, we can go ahead and sit this on the back burner while we prep our bell peppers. I've lightly coated a 13 by nine inch pan with olive oil. To prep our bell peppers, I take a chef's knife. We're just gonna cut the bell pepper lengthwise. You're going to remove the seeds and the ribs to the bell pepper, just like this. I like leaving that little stem on. I think it makes a lovely little presentation. To make sure you have all the seeds out, just tap it there on your cutting board. And then you can lie it over here in your prepared 13 by nine inch pan. And at this point, you want your oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And then again, just tap it on there and all those seeds will just come right out. It smells so yummy and they're gonna be so delicious. Now comes that fun part. Using an ice cream scooper, I go ahead, get a scoop, reach over here, and scoop it right into our bell pepper. You may wanna put a little bit more in until you got a heaping mound of your stuffing here in your bell pepper halves. Continue doing this until you get all your bell peppers stuffed. Woo! And it smells so yummy and oh, it's gonna be so delicious. I gotta put just a little bit more up there. Don't wanna skimp on that stuffing. Once you get all your bell peppers stuffed, you're gonna go ahead and top it with that mozzarella cheese. Just kinda push it down in there so it'll stick to the top of your stuffing here. Before you start baking your stuffed bell peppers, you're gonna add two tablespoons of water here into the bottom of your pan. Be sure not to get it in with your peppers. This is gonna help your peppers to steam and get nice and soft while they're baking. And run it to the left, run the water to the right until you have it evenly coated here on the bottom. These are off to that preheated oven on the middle rack for the next 30 minutes. Use your timer and no peeking. Stuffed bell peppers have baked 
and look how fantastic they are and my whole kitchen smells so yummy. While they're still warm, I like to top them with a little cilantro. I didn't tell you this, but I looked in my refrigerator while these were baking and I thought, oh my goodness, I've got to add just some fresh cilantro here on the top. It'll really absorb that cilantro flavor. It is optional, it's not necessary. Now we're gonna let these cool down and I'll be back and tell you what they taste like. Let's grab this one and see what it tastes like. Put it right here and look what a beautiful presentation this is. You can serve it with asparagus, broccoli, just eat it by itself. Let's dig in. Mmm, that cheese. Gotta get some of that filling. Mm-hmm. Wow. What a lovely punch of flavor. Mmm, the cheese, the turkey, that rosemary, the thyme, and just that little bit of water in the bottom of the pan really steamed these bell peppers to a beautiful al dente texture. Mmm, a little crunch. You're not going to be disappointed in these stuffed bell peppers. I'm Deronda with Foods 101, and looky there on the inside. Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, hit that notification bell to be the first to get my new YouTube food videos. Thanks a million for watching you all. Stay safe and I'll catch you lovely people later. later.